Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad tablet running Android 4.2. And you can tell that it's 4.2 because, among other things, we've got support for uh, widgets on the home screen here. We've got the new uh, quick settings notification style, and we've got uh, home reason apps and back buttons here towards the center. So uh, we're running Android 4.2, a uh, version of CyanogenMod 10.1. So how does this happen? Well, this is a test build uh, put together by a developer named SGA, and you can uh, find more details at uh, the Roots Wiki and XDA Developers Forum and at lilliputing.com. As a test build, not everything works perfectly out of the box. Uh, so Bluetooth isn't working yet, the camera's not working yet, and uh, there's some battery drain issues. And as with many test builds, um, if the battery drains completely, you might actually have problems turning the thing back on. So you want to make sure that you uh, either keep it charged or turn it off completely when you're not using it instead of letting it go to sleep for extended periods of time. But if we take a look around at some of the capabilities, you can see that uh, web browsing works, um, the uh, keyboard works, touchscreen works just fine. Multi-touch, and you can even do uh, swipe style gestures here, although it's not picking that up for some reason. Um, anyway, so, uh, so web browsing is working. Um, again, out of the box with the uh, build that was released on uh, April 3rd or so, no support for hardware video acceleration. And what that means is that uh, Netflix isn't going to work, high definition YouTube's not going to work, and some other things. You can still uh, watch standard definition YouTube, you can still watch, um, you can use a video player like MX Player that has software decoding for high definition video. But it's actually kind of easy, and when I say kind of, you're going to have to go to lilliputing.com for instructions to take that test build. Uh, without waiting for a new build with hardware acceleration and uh, sort of modify it so that you get hardware acceleration. And what that means is that you should be able to watch um, Netflix, high definition YouTube, and so forth. So future builds should have this baked right in, um, but if you want to do it for now, again, go to lilliputing.com. News today is every day, Gotham's own financial czar, Derek Powers. And I'll uh, post instructions on how to get Netflix and other apps that require hardware accelerated video to work properly. Um, YouTube, same deal. There we go. So here's a video of me doing a video of me. And uh, the Google Play Store works. Now I can't tell if it's taking a while to load some of this content because of my uh, Wi-Fi connection or the software. Uh, this is a test build, of course, so it's, it might not necessarily be a daily driver for everybody, but if you want to see what uh, Android 4.2 looks like on the HP touchpad, it looks pretty good and it works pretty nicely. Uh, just take a quick look here in the settings and you can see that it is running um, 4.2, signage in mod 10. We can look into a performance area here, and you can see that we can even um, take a look at some of the performance options. It looks like uh, off the top here, not a lot to change. Yeah, so it won't let us change the processor or anything. Um, and it comes uh, with root access enabled, and that's something that you're going to need if you wanted to uh, to make that change that I talked about in terms of hardware accelerated video. I'm using an app here called Root Explorer, and I had to go ahead and change some files in the uh, the root system in order to get that to work properly. Um, again, camera doesn't work, so it doesn't come with a camera app included. And if you uh, if you download one from the uh, the Play Store, it's probably not going to work yet. That should be available in future builds because uh, developers have figured out how to get the camera to work. And there's only a front-facing camera um, on this particular tablet anyway. So the HP touchpad was released back in 2011, originally ran WebOS software, and now it can sort of dual boot WebOS and Android through these unofficial uh, uh, custom ROMs like this. And um, it's uh, you know, well, close to two years after it was released and uh, discontinued. It's, uh, it's still showing new surprises and works pretty well for a device with a um, dual core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor, uh, 1024 by 768 uh, 
pixel display, works pretty well for surfing the web, reading books, watching videos, and so forth, uh, playing games. Weighs about 1.6 pounds, it's a little bit heavy by today's uh, tablet standards, but it, uh, it fits pretty well in your hands, and most importantly, if you were lucky, you picked one up for as little as $99. HP originally charged $4.99, sort of an iPad-like price for this tablet. Uh, when they decided to cancel the product after just a few months, sold them off as cheap as $99. Um, you'd be lucky to find one at that price these days, but if you go through eBay and other sort of secondary marketplaces, you might be able to find one for around $200. Um, there might be some better tablets out there for $200, but there's not a lot of 9.7 inch tablets with 1024 by 768 pixel displays for people who like sort of that um, iPad style. Uh, resolution, but would prefer to run Android or WebOS, I suppose, if you really wanted to. But it's nice to have the option to, to run the latest uh, Android software available. So again, just a quick look at how Android 4.2 works uh, and looks using this test build from SGA. You can find more details at lilliputing.com, XDA Developers Forum, and uh, Roots Wiki, uh, among other places. And uh, I'll have some instructions on how to go ahead and install this and configure it properly at lilliputing.com.